the long morning. Just a quick update. I decided that um, I was gonna clean myself up a little bit before I made this video. I'm still very weak. <coughs> This is me. <laughs> After vomiting, <clears throat> remember I said every time I vomit, the next five to ten minutes are very critical. Oh, crucial, I should say. You're very crucial. <clears throat> I guess I have like this bathtub mucus that comes out, right? And it's very nasty. I have to let it all out before um, I'm able to swallow my saliva. <clears throat> but, um, so, yeah, I still vomit in the morning. It's currently, um, <clears throat> I'm doing this video on a Thursday. So, um, this morning, really rough. It was really rough. What I realized was that I don't really have a choice. Um, ginger ale was my drink of breakfast as of late. But I came to find out that um to find out that um even the ginger ale itself if I drink any fluids after six o'clock doesn't matter how much 
by changing the rule of the six o'clock. I wake up in the morning. I'll have a really rough morning. So, um, I drank some ginger ale last night. And as I was vomiting this morning, I could literally taste the vomit coming out. I could taste the sweetness in the ginger ale. It was like a mixture of sweet and grossness combined together coming out. And it was just like constant, constant, constant. It was not slowing down for a good two minutes of straight vomiting the ginger ale. All because I took a few sips of it at night. You know, I took a few sips of it and as a result, I had to suffer the consequences in the morning. So I don't even know if I drink it after 6 p.m. I suffer. So what am I supposed to do at this point right now? Because I don't know. I don't know. I can't stop drinking fluids after six o'clock, you know, until the next morning, because I get really dehydrated, my saliva gets really dry, my mouth gets really dry, so I need to sleep on something. I don't know, but God help me. God help me. So, again, as always, here is the journey to childbirth. And I'll always say, please respect women. <laughs> God bless you all. Yes, I'm covered up because I'm shivering. I'm cold, I'm shivering, the heat's on, but I'm still very cold, I'm still very cold, and I'm shaking, I feel vomiting so much, I'm shaking, thank you so much for your time. Hi. Hi guys, look at what lunch was served. Potatoes, 
This looks like a lot, but it's only actually one big potatoes. Potatoes with bika leaf, crayfish, and red oil. And of course, some other spices. But they had pork. I told them I didn't want pork in mine because I can't stand the smell of pork right now. So this is my lunch. This is my lunch. This is my lunch. This is my lunch. So I don't know what it is, but there's something about the smell of Vita leaf that just makes me. I'm just like living the moment. I just I love the smell of Vita leaf at this point. I don't know why. But I just. The smell of bitter leaf at this point is just like life. So I've been hungry for potatoes made with bitter leaf. You know, I call it the village way. <laughs> like I've been to the village before. <laughs> I just wanted bitter leaf. Potatoes made with bitter leaf. No meat. No meat. I didn't want no meat. Mm, I'm telling you. There's just this aroma with red oil there's just something about red oil so far for me that um is just given lately I haven't been into American food I've just been craving some more of African dishes my husband bought Chinese uh, not Chinese Spanish food yesterday rice and beans and I smelled the pork. I was just like, ew, that smells gross. On any regular day, I would like Spanish food. But last night, I was just like, I'm not having it. So I went to bed with a little bit of peanuts that I ate yesterday. And yeah, and I felt sick. Drank some water and it helped bounce me back some hot water. So, um, this bitter leaf combined with the smell of red oil. <laughs> mm. It's life and it's given. I just pray that I don't get sick after I'm done eating it. That's the same as much as I enjoy the food. When I'm done eating it, you see that man. Desmond just has to come and show himself. Show myself where? Am I coming there? Whenever he's at home, he, ah, just, he just has to make you him known that he is home. He just always has to show himself. Oh, oh. Just always has to Same show as himself. Giving me money. Just always has to show himself. Hmm? But look at the way he's eating his food with his hands. I wish I could show you guys. But he's using his hand to eat. And he has pork all over his food. Ew. What's happened? Can't stand pork like me. Last time I ate it, I vomited so much. What? Pork. So I cannot even try pork. Mama? But I just pray that I don't vomit after I eat this. So, it is lunch. Just pray I don't get sick. Okay? Lunch, what time? for watching. This is breakfast. This is lunch. It's lunch. Don't mind me. Bye bye. It's nine. Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So it's currently Tuesday morning. I just came from vomiting. I'm not even done. I still have to vomit. There's still a lot down there. If you watch my update for Monday, you know that I didn't vomit much on Monday. I gagged up only a lot of uh, mucus, thick mucus. So today, because I did vomit yesterday, 
I vomited all acid yellow and that is the worst that's the worst <laughs> that's one of the worst I'm so weak I had to sit down take a break I'm so weak anytime I vomit acid I get so weak I'm not even done that's it <laughs> There's too much that has to come out. I just, I just had to take a break. So I'm starting to shake. That's what always happens if I skip a day and I don't vomit. It's like a sign of relief, but the following day, it'll be worse. It'd be worse. So, um, yeah, I feel really weak. God help me. This tells me is that when I finally regain my strength, I have to get on the couch. I have to finish doing what I'm doing. And then I have to get on the recliner, because that's it, I'm done. Hopefully, later on, I'll be able to put some food down. But, um, I started doing this around 7.45 this morning. I kept pushing it back, and I kept pushing it back. I didn't want to wake up, kept refusing to leave the bed. Yes, I was able to sleep in the bed. Elevated my head with about four pillows and I was able to sleep in bed. But finally I had to get up. Taking me so much strength to record this right now. <laughs> I have to let you guys go. Thank you so much for your time. Again, this is the journey to childbirth. Please respect me. Now. Thank you. Hi everyone, good morning. So, today I've decided to, um, <laughs> today I've decided to, um, begin documenting my pregnancy journey. This is something I've never done before. And it's taking me a lot of strength to do this right now. So, this is Sunday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning. I don't even get to say good morning to anybody because I can't talk in the morning. I have to go straight into the bathroom, empty my bladder, and before I'm even done emptying my bladder, I have to vomit. 
So, <coughs> on this very Sunday morning, I vomited a lot. And every time I vomit, I cry. Not by choice, but because it's just one of the challenges of my pregnancy. I have what you call a very complex pregnancy journey, and it happens with every one of my children. So, whenever I'm done vomiting, I have to sit on the toilet for at least five to 10 minutes because I get really dizzy. And if I attempt to move or do anything during that time frame, I will pass out or I will fall. So I sit on the toilet for like five minutes or so and then release any gag that comes out after the vomiting. That's as much as I take it out. The next five to ten minutes, there's always mucus that comes out. <laughs> and after all the mucus comes out, then I go up and lay down on the couch for another one or two hours until I possibly regain strength. If I'm able to, I drink a little cup of orange juice for strength, but that doesn't give me any strength. Why am I speaking so weak right now? It's because I don't have strength. So I'm still in the very early stages of my pregnancy the first trimester and you guys may be thinking this shall pass but we shall see let's watch and see how the pregnancy journey takes me in the meantime please respect all women this is the journey to childbirth please respect women thank you Mommy. Hi guys, Mommy. so this is me attempting to drink a little bit of orange juice for strength, but of course, motherhood duties Mommy. doesn't stop. Maddie is here campaigning for some, and she looks at my belly, and she's trying to figure out how to close my belly. <laughs> she's closing my shirt, she wants to close my belly, she doesn't like my belly exposed. So here is she closing my belly. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, Let me give her a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to drink a little bit and pray for some strength to happen. So, thank you.